So today we're going to be testing out a bunch of new drugstore makeup, including a $7 foundation and a $5 concealer. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today it's all about the drugstore. It's all about cheap makeup. I'm talking cheap, $7 foundation and a $5 concealer, but is it good? We're going to find out today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. How you doing? So $7 foundation, hello. I'm talking about the new Essence Keep Me Covered Long Wearing Foundation. Now this just recently launched. You can find Essence at Ulta. They also came out with a new concealer with the same name. This foundation comes in 15 shades and it retails for $6.99. You're supposed to get a natural looking and long lasting coverage with this foundation. It's supposed to seamlessly melt into your skin, giving your complexion an even healthy look. Up to 16 hour wear. It's made without parabens oil, fragrance, preservatives, alcohol, and microplastic particles. Well, on that note, let's get into this. Okay, so I've already primed and prepped my skin with the Woe Glow Elf Skin Sun Protection and Makeup Primer. I love this because it has an SPF. It provides a super glowy complexion and it doubles as a makeup primer. Been really enjoying this. And I think this retails for like $14. I also picked up from Ulta a few weeks ago, a skincare product. I know, right? And I picked up the It Cosmetics Hello Results Baby Smooth Glycolic Acid Peel and Caring Oil. Now, this retails for $15. $59. However, I got it during their skin event. I got it for 50% off. I was super curious about this. I'll be honest with you packaging, hook, line, and sinker. It's supposed to provide gentle exfoliation and soothing hydration in one step. The way you use this product is after cleansing your face at night, it is the first product you're gonna put on your complexion. I just put two squirts into the palm of my hand and just pat it into my skin. It does tingle a little bit, but it's supposed to brighten up your complexion, even it out, and help with the cell turnover. I've really been enjoying this product. All right, let's get to the foundation. I picked up the shade 70, which is Warm Shell. I have been testing it out this week and I wore it for over 12 hours and I was pretty impressed. So let's go ahead and apply this. Come closer. Let me zoom you in. Ooh, you get one ounce, it's $6.99. It comes in a glass bottle. I mean, that's pretty good for drugstore at this price point. Now, in my experience, I found applying it with a dampened beauty sponge worked great for me. Now, this is supposed to provide medium to full coverage and it's supposed to be more of a matte finish. So if you don't like a matte finish, I suggest using a glowy primer underneath. That's why I like using the Woe Glow because I want my skin to look a little brighter, a little more luminescent. So that's why I like using this. But if you have an oilier, comp an oilier complexion, I suggest using more of a mattifying primer. Primer. So let's go ahead and apply this. A lot of criticism has been going around that the shades tend to run very yellow. My complexion does run a little yellow, a little warm, so I find that it works really well for me. But yeah, soups yellow, right? But I like to apply it with my fingertips and then fan it out. Now it does have a very runny consistency, but as I experimented throughout the week, it does look much better if you, if you wanna get that fuller coverage, really use your fingertips to amp up that coverage. And then I like taking a dampened beauty sponge and just pouncing it in. This does have really good coverage. So let's go ahead and turn down the lights and see what we're dealing with. This actually has really nice coverage. I'm super impressed with it. This one right out of the gate is gonna give you more coverage. So let's go ahead and apply it to the left side. I know, right, look at that, ah! It's a much thinner consistency than I expected, especially for a full coverage foundation, but it really does look so pretty on the skin. Look how pretty that is. Super impressed with this foundation. I mean, come on. I review a bunch of foundation for our mature skin. And this one, I mean, I don't know what's going on with the drugstore, but they are pumping out some fantastic products. It's not cakey whatsoever. I think because it has such a thin consistency and that is just one pump. And I still have quite a bit left on my hand. So I'm just gonna blend it in. Now, if you're new to my channel, my skin runs normal to dry. Of course, I have hyperpigmentation, fine lines. 
occasional redness, especially in the winter time. Now let's test out the concealer. This is the Keep Me Covered Concealer. This comes in 10 shades. I'm in the shade Shell. It's supposed to hide spots, redness, and under eye circles for a flawless complexion. Lightweight, non-comedogenic, and it also includes aloe vera to help hydrate the skin, minimize the look of pores, soothes redness, and helps control oil. I have a naturally dry under eye, so I make sure I take good care of that delicate under eye area. I kind of cheated this morning. I did some eye masks. One of my favorite all time eye masks is from Dermatology. I needed a little help, you guys. Ugh. So let's go in with the concealer. As you can see, it has a tiny doe foot, which I like, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it where I need the most brightening. And it has a thicker consistency, and I'm just gonna place it where I need brightening and covering up my red areas. However, the Keep Me Covered foundation really covered up my, my red areas, so yeah. And I'm just gonna take the heat of my fingertips and blend it. And I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just press it into my skin. A little bit of concealer goes a long way since it has a thicker consistency than your foundation. Definitely use it sparingly, but I really like this concealer because it's not full coverage. I mean, you can build it up to full coverage, but like I said, you just wanna use a tiny bit to brighten up that area and cover up your redness or your dark circles. Super impressed with the Keep Me Covered concealer at $4.99. Now that I have concealer and foundation on, I just wanna go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer. And I'm gonna go in with the new e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. This just recently launched about a month ago. They have their regular putty bronzers that aren't luminous, but this is such a beautiful, creamy bronzer that I've really been enjoying. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it in but I'm in the shade Day Trip. So I'm just tapping that in just to give a little bit more warmth to my skin. I'm glowing. Okay, bronzer is on. Now I picked up a new blush from Essence and it's called Baby Got Blush. Baby Got Blush. No, okay. It retails for $4.99 and it comes in three shades. It is a cream blush. Now you know I love Essence's The Blush, one of my all-time favorite blushes, and that's including high-end blush. It retails for like $3. This one retails for $4.99. It comes in three different shades. First of all, look how super cute this is. It's super tiny. You can throw it into your purse, apply your blush, and go. But the best thing about this blush, not only is it gorgeous and it doesn't add any additional texture to my mature skin, it smells so delicious. Now, if you don't like scents, I get it, but this just, I don't know, something about certain scents makes me happy. And this smells like, like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. That's what it smells like. Now, it does dissipate after a while, but it just, smelling that on my cheeks, it just makes me happy. It just brings me back to my youth. This is what it looks like. Look how cute that is. How I apply this, I take the heat of my fingertips, and this is called Tickle Me Pink, and it is so pretty on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it, and since I have a thinner face and I want my cheeks to look fuller, I like to strategically place it right, not on the apples of my cheeks, but closer into my face because I have like a narrow face. Now, if you want your face to look slimmer, I would put your blush a little bit higher. But since I have kind of a slender face and I want to have that, you know, oh, just that, just pinched look, I know, I know, I've had too much coffee today. I like applying it slightly closer towards the middle of my face, just for that youthful glow. And this is so, so pretty. It's very subtle, but you still get that pink glow. And it's just $4.99, are you kidding me? I should have gotten more shades, but see how it just looks so pretty and glowy on the skin. There's no glitter in it, there's no shimmer in it, it's just straight up pigment. It's more of a matte shade. It's giving me such a nice glow without glitter or shimmer. This is so pretty, so stunning. Absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a $4.99 cream blush that's gonna look gorgeous on your skin, I highly recommend the Baby Got Blush. Baby Got Blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer 
with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. I reviewed this several videos ago, really been loving it. It's such a finely milled, loose, translucent powder. Loose, translucent powder. Why does that sound funny? Plus, I love the little component. It's not messy. Powder doesn't fly everywhere. And set my under eye like that. And my T-zone. I'm telling you, drugstore has been killing it lately. And I am here for it because who doesn't want to save money, especially after the holidays? Everything is set. My face looks healthy. It looks plumped. I've got some fantastic coverage going on with the Keep Me Covered foundation. I'm really, really surprised how much I like this foundation. I mean, I love the Revlon Illuminance foundation, but this one really took me by surprise. I mean, I went in a little cautious. $6.99 for foundation. I mean, you can't get, can you get cheaper than that? I don't know, but Essence really has outdone themselves. You know, I absolutely love their 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. This is beautiful on the skin as well, but yeah, they've been really knocking it out of the park. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay. Eyes are done. I just did a super easy look with the Essence Bonjour Montreal eyeshadow palette. This is a very good eyeshadow palette for the price point. The formula is so buttery and so smooth. I love these shimmers because they just provide so much nice pigment, but really smooth on the lids. And I just created this super simple everyday look. And then I tight lined my waterline with the L'Oreal Low Liner Signature Mechanical Eyeliner. You know, I love that eyeliner. It's so easy to apply. It doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge. I use the shade Denim, which is brown. And the reason why I like tight lining my waterline, my upper waterline, is it just gives your eyelash band a thicker base. It makes your eyelashes look thicker. And for mascara, I don't know if I'm a glutton for punishment, but I purchased this and it was not cheap. It is the new Telescopic Lift Mascara from L'Oreal. <laughs> Uh, I always poke my eye out with this mascara. I guess you have to go slow to apply this. I do like the formula. It is a wetter formula. The brush is unusual. It's super flat and it's got teeth on both ends. But since I've been playing with it and not poking my eye out, this is actually a really good formula. Yeah, I'm happy I used it today and I'm happy I didn't poke my eye out. But highlighter, I don't use highlighter every single day, but I don't know if this is new or not, but it's from Essence. It's called the Pure Nude Highlighter. It retails for $4.99 and the shade is called Be My Highlight. This is a baked formula and it's also marbled. It doesn't look very marbled to me. Does it look marbled to you? Maybe mine's defective, I don't know. But for some reason, this baked formula is so pretty on the complexion. And I'm just gonna go in with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter brush. Love this brush. And take a little bit and just sweep it on there. It's really subtle. It doesn't have any clunky glitter in it, but the combination of the Baby Got Cheeks blush and this, so pretty and so subtle. It's not a blinding highlighter. It just adds such a beautiful, subtle glow with no chunky glitter. It's beautiful. And I'm just gonna pop it right through here, right under my brow bone. Oh, so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love the combination of the blush and this baked highlighter. But yeah, this is the Pure Nude Highlighter from Essence 499. Gorgeous, love it, okay. And for lips, I'm just gonna go in with the new e.l.f. Satin Lipstick in the shade Standing Ovation. You guys, $9 for this lipstick. I thought that was a little too much for e.l.f., but the formula is outstanding. The pigment is gorgeous. It has that magnetic cap, really love it. Tons of shades, but the shade Standing Ovation is a nice neutral. I mean, look at that. Ooh, so pretty. This is definitely a satin finished lipstick. It glides right on. It's hydrating. It looks great on the lips. It has fantastic pigment. It just looks so nice. But here we are with the final look. And I definitely have some thoughts. Let's talk about the Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation from Essence. Now remember it comes in 15 shades. It retails for $6.99. After using this foundation this week, it is so pretty on the skin. It has Definitely medium coverage. It, the coverage really shocked me at first. You saw how beautifully it applied, how it just blends seamlessly into the skin. It's super skin-like, it's super lightweight and comfortable on the complexion. 
I tested it out one day for over 12 hours and it hung in there. It looked fantastic. And I'm going to put some coverage of it right here. But if you're looking for, and I'm talking cheap, 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 $6.99 for a medium to full coverage foundation that's going to look natural on the skin. It's not cakey. It did not settle into my fine lines. No complaints here. I think it's so pretty on the skin. And then their concealer, the Keep Me Covered Concealer, retails for $4.99 and comes in 10 shades. I'm in the shade, what is this, shell? I'm in the shade shell. But same thing, It you can build it up to full coverage. I just use a tiny bit just to cover up my redness and my, my dark under eye circles. It's so lightweight on the skin, surprisingly, and it just works fantastic in combination. $12 for a beautiful, complete complexion. But what do you think? But thanks again for hanging out with me today and letting me test out all this makeup. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. And in case you want to hang out a little bit longer and check out some more foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist right over there. But for now, mwah, mahal kita. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.